Hey everyone, Leslie here from Team Filofax. Just going over a review of my new planner, which is the original black patent leather in um, personal size. As you can see, nice and stuffed. I love a stuffed Filofax. Um, people ask, is it too stuffed? I'm able to close it. It does seem, if you see, it does pull a tiny bit here, but nothing that I'm, you know, I have a problem with. Also, another question I get is if it gets fingerprints, and I think you can kind of see it on the video. It does get fingerprints, but what I do is I use a, um, like one of the cloths that you'll clean off like your, um, like a iPad or an iPod screen, like an iPhone screen, one of those cloths, and that wipes it right off. So it's really not an issue for me. I love the size of it. It's nice and compact. Um... Because of the way the front pockets are laid out, I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. But I'm really not doing a lot of my decorations and stuff like that when I'm out and about. Um, I do have this cute little paper clip because I think it's cute. And in case I do need to clip something together, I have something with me. Um, in, I don't keep anything in this pen loop um, or in this middle um, elastic section. I do have my multicolor pen because I do color code, so I need to have this with me. And it fits perfectly and I'm able to close it. This is a full length pocket. Um, it does get pretty stretchy, but it, like I, I just got this the other day, so I'm just you know trying to work with it. I have some papers in there, some sticky notes, just something I like you know to have on hand. This is a top loading envelope. See, and I just have um, some papers stuck in there. Um, I do kind of use it as a dashboard. I'll stick sticky notes. I'll stick receipts in there, just things I need to put away. I do have a zipper envelope, um, but as you can tell, it's not a Filofax one. My dogs are playing. It's not a Filofax one um, because it doesn't have that the zipper pull. This came with the Barnes & Noble Punctuate Planner. And I like this one better, and it fits perfectly in a personal size. Um, I have stamps. I have some flags. I have some Martha Stewart dew drops. Um, I also, that's that little cloth I was talking about. I stuck it in here that I like to clean the outside of the, uh, the original with. have a fly leaf. I have a year at a view, on a view. And then here is my color coding system. I'm really not using this top section over here. I'm just basically sticking with this color coding right here. Um, and you'll see when I get to that in a moment. This is the 2015, I don't know if you can kind of, it's kind of blurry, 2015 vertical year planner. And this way, in case anything comes up, weddings or something that, you know, you'll get the save the date cards or sometimes my sons, their tournaments are planned out so far in advance. I like to put them on there. Now, here's my first divider. I didn't put labels on it because my label maker ran out of my tape and I'm a little uh, bleh with that. So I have to go to the store. Now, the biggest change in my Filofax is I'm using the DIY fish inserts. And I have to say, they are perfect for what I need. Um, they, I love how they work. I love the setup. Um, at first, I saw pictures on Instagram of them, and they looked very complicated. And, you know, oh, that's going to be too much space and information for me. It's really not. Um, I have three kids that are active in sports. Um, my husband coaches. I coach. So we really are all over the place. And coming into the spring, the schedules are starting to get a little crazy. So this here is the contents page. And what's beautiful is all her pages have a section down at the bottom for page numbering. So this is kind of like the monthly index if anybody's used the Franklin Covey planner pages on the monthly index so you can look back and say okay you know I was I had spoke to this person on this date you can then refer back to your pages um one thing I also like about hers and if you could see none of my months are labeled yet um I do like that everything is packaged up nicely together this is my February this is my March and I love how every, well, March should be 
package like that was just working in it. And it comes in little packages. Now, I only am keeping in the current month, and then towards the end of that month, I'm putting in for the next month. So, for example, April is just the monthly calendar. May, same thing. So, all the way to December, all I have is the monthly calendar inserts for the, the DIY fish. And they're all labeled. So, when I come towards the end of March, I will then remove my February, my February sheets. I will store them. And then I'll add all the week, the daily pages for April. And that's how I'm going to hand it, uh, handle it going forward. Let me show you February. Like I said, I love these inserts. They do seem very complicated, but they're really not. Um, what they have is here you have your month on a page. You have your week on a page. And I opted for the day on the page layout. Um, the day on two pages, I think, was going to be a little bit too much for me. And I really didn't need to take up, like, another sheet in the file facts. I, so I went with the day on a page, and so far, I love it. Um, it has a section for notes. It has a schedule, and then it has your to-dos. And also for the people who um, have the, I think it's a Studio L2... It has a little um, to check off your water, you know, for anybody who's trying to track the water. I know there was that water stamp I was dying for, and this came with it, so I'm very happy. I don't have to um, stamp away every day. So this is definitely, um, like I said, this is her version 2 inserts. I'm going to do a separate video um, in detail on how these work because, like I said, they... they at first, scared the heck out of me when I saw them because they look so, you know, and then the printing, it looks so much how everything folded. But honestly, I, I love them, and they're really not as scary as they seem. They're gen I heard somebody call her a genius, and you know what? She really is. Uh, the fact that somebody created them is just amazing. My next section is my um, notes section. I have a fly leaf with one of these. Uh, I got it at the uh, container store. Just stuck it on there. And this holds my Sharpie pen, which I write everything else with. Here is my doctor section, which is a pretty large section. Then I have just some blank sheets for notes I want to keep track. I have wish lists, um, miscellaneous information. This I really need to go through and um, organize a little bit better. It's in there pretty um, jumbled up right now. Oh, next section is the personal information section. And I just have the file effect sheets. And up at the top, those top tabs, I have family information. Let's see what else. Uh, car information, which is like my registration numbers, car insurance information, and any repairs. Website tracker, which is all my websites with my passwords and birthdays and anniversaries. And that's what I have listed in my information section. My next section is or is just a blank section. And then I have my financial section. And that I'm not sure because a lot of people have seen they've done it with their fish insert. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then the final section I have is contact, uh, contacts. And what I do for my contacts is I have a couple sheets of the Filofax contact sheets. And I just write some information. I think I could show this. Um, yeah, these are just some businesses that I go to. And then I have a business card um, holder. And then these are just important, like my vet, my um, personal doctor, my kid's pediatrician, and my insurance information, accountant, and stuff like that. Um, these are some sticky notes, um, some stickies, uh, stickers, sorry, that um, I bought them at Michael's, and they came pre-punched. They're the Stickopotamus brand. I think, let me see if I can get that and zoom that in for you. Stickopotamus. And they already came pre-punched. So, and I like to have them stick them in little highlight things. Now, this last piece I keep in there. It's this black plastic, if you can kind of see, 
Franklin Covey. It came with one of their compact plan planners that I had purchased years ago. It's got to be like 15, 16 years ago. And it just prevents the pages from getting stuck under, sucked in under the rings, especially when you have a full planner. So, and it fits, and I like it. It's really, it's black, so it blends in. Now, the back has a, another full pocket that goes the whole length. And it does have two slit pockets that was for a, um, came with a little notepad right here. I didn't need it, so I just took it out. I'd rather the space, because like I said, this thing is stuffed to the gills. You see, I'm going to try and close it with one hand. See, I was able to do it, which is a miracle. But this is my new original. Sorry, I'm trying to film on my iPad. I tried to film this yesterday on my um, iPhone and I ran out of memory halfway through so I said let me try it on my iPad so it's a little bit wiggly and my daughter who's the other half of team file fact she's in school so she normally holds this for me while we videotape but she's not here so um, she also has an update on her file of facts she has the personal fluoro pink original that she has set up um, and she's also switched back into her pocket purple Safiano, um, and she started using Kitty Qualia inserts, which she loves, so she's going to be doing a review on all that fun stuff, and uh, it was good to talk to all of you again. I know it's been a while. Hopefully it won't be the same amount of time to the next video. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a review of the DIY fish inserts, so I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.